it's a real eye opener because you know you still have to have your good gun handling skills. You have to have basic marksmanship, but that seems to take a smaller priority after you do this. You realize this is actually the bigger part of what you need to train on. Yeah, I, I said before, I'm a big believer in the adrenal stress training. Uh, it's great to be able to apply it to um, use of firearms. I'm new. The process of going through everything is huge to start small and work your way up. The, the pinnacle for any special forces operative shooting wise is to be able to put accurate control fire onto a hostile target in an unfavorable environment. And to see a mixed group of people in three and a half hours that included people who not only have, don't own guns or don't may not ever want to own a gun, to be able to do just that, that, that just amazes me. I mean, that just, that's it's good training when you can take three and a half hours what people spend their whole career, military careers trying to achieve. Uh, that's that's good stuff. Great, uh, a great litmus, litmus test to find out what you can pull off, what you can't. It uh, gives you a sort of a gauge for right now, can help direct your training, my training in the future, and um, uh, above all, show that you can pull things out when you need it.